now, the Assass Productions webcast. Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. Farewell to the sweetest thing that I've ever seen. What could be more noble than him? Misery of a lack thereof in this time of need. Why don't I treat myself to a second help and a one that's saying him? That phone man forget on a bill of tea. Welcome, stupid nigga. How are you? This is the Ass Gas Podcast. ATP Live. Has it come to be known? Come. Hey, what's my hand doing? Okay. Nobody um, but Jack knows that we're Bobo. Well. We are live again. It took us uh, two weeks, um, but we are once again live. This camera is a little too close. <laughs> Jesus, father, seems to be mind me of my dick in a tree. <laughs> okay, all right. Wait for the girl, the, the nigga. All right, what are you doing over there? Okay, you alive, nigga. Oh, look girl. at that. You signed in. Okay, good. All right. What about Jews? Well, we definitely we have to we have to start off right off the bat. We have to mention um, probably the biggest story around the world. Uh, it, it's a, it's devastating to the Japanese people. Selena Gomez left Japan <laughs> two weeks ago. I know. Here are the pictures that they took. I it, it was there. You know, this looks like a friendly picture. She thinks it's all fine and dandy. The Japanese people devastated. They caused a tsunami. This 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 the. the Earth shook. So many people were violently tremoring from her leaving that it actually shifted the plates <laughs> in the Earth's crust. And uh, it's a laughing matter. Uh, and caused yes, a tsunami amazing. to destroy several miles and miles. Of, I saw of, this shit's natural life. Of Japan. It was just so ridiculous. Good. It was all because Selena Gomez left. It was just... It, uh, I, know, I can't believe how much stuff happened. It was just, you know, I couldn't, the now, now the nuclear ordeal, uh, it's just, they're coming around though. It looks like they're going to fix the problem. I mean, this is what happens when Selena goes into a country and she just leaves without no anybody noticing. I mean, I mean, without notice. Everyone notices, obviously. <laughs> and it just causes a mass, mass confusion. And I just, I don't accept it. We're going to have to, we're going to, she's going to have to be charged with something. You can't now in Hawaii. Did like they actually you know, like were there any like floods or anything? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think anything happened in Hawaii. Oh. That was all just bullshit. It might have been heavier waves or something like that. It might I have think they were only around, like, but I don't three think, feet tall. It wasn't like point. anything. I'm sure I would have heard if it was something. Anything happened? I don't think it was anything. Waves are three feet tall. So, so uh, yep. Well. So here we are, another great fine uh, AGP live. Wow, well, we're still on Selena Gomez. <laughs> yeah, well, she has been rocking the world the last two weeks. Uh, I mean, last week. <laughs> um, and uh, literally, literally, uh, she's caused a lot of problems. What a bitch. Okay, so, but the real story of the week has been. Um, Nothing. There hasn't been any single story that was really big. <laughs> oh. There was Japan, there's Libya, and that's it. That's the only two big stories. But fuck the big stories. How about the important stories? <laughs> no one cares about Libya. 
What they really care about is um, Miley Cyrus on Saturday Night Live. No. No, they don't care about that. Okay. Uh, see that segue. Yes. So I think... Oh, wait, you got to go to Disney Corner. I know. Wait, hold on. I was getting to it. <laughs> so I think introducing that, it's about, it's about time. We start right off the bat with our, one of our greatest segments. Do you always hit the adjustment when you play Big and hard. Don't you wish you could fuck them all? This is Disney Corner. All right. Yes. We decided let's not let's not wait. Let's not wait for this this week. This is groundbreaking stuff's happening. Of course, uh... Can you hold this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you like stuff like that. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Um, unfortunately, we didn't catch it last... We didn't catch it last week, because, um... We weren't on, but, uh... So now it's two weeks ago. Miley Cyrus hosted, uh... Saturday Night Live for the first time. Yes. And you didn't watch until, like, what? Like, this past Monday? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but, yeah. Yeah, oh, because I got Netflix for free. Saturday Night Live usually sucks. Yeah. The vast majority of the time, it does suck. And this was yet another instance of a really bad show. <laughs> she didn't really make up for it at all. Um, and just like their pictures... Pictures suck too. Yeah, yeah, very plain Jane pictures they are. But at least they got her in that position. Okay, mm. so Farley's sitting over there looking at her ass. Uh, he's at every photo shoot. Any photo shoot she goes to, he's a good old Farley. No one knows who that is, but you'll find out soon. I'm sure. All right. <laughs> you're gonna get done there? You got a hundred more of them over there? Come make fun of me. So, anyway. <laughs> but, uh, I, uh, but she did, on multiple occasions, sing. Masturbate? <laughs> no. <laughs> Surprisingly, I don't think they let them do that on there. Yeah. Um, NBC's like, I don't think so. Um, no, but she did sing. And. Contrary to what you'd think, she actually is a decent singer. Mm. <laughs> you did watch it. Are you going to comment on anything? No? Did she not I didn't like the band that they had playing there. The band? Yeah, that band. Like You know how they what always have it? a band? I don't know what it was, but it's really bad. Yeah, they're but always, ba always bad. They're the, gu the guitar player on it. Um, Josie? Josie and the Pussycats? <laughs> <laughs> no, but... One of the guitar players, guitar players was like doing a solo, and he would strum it, and then put his hand all the way up in the air, and be like, "Why? I don't know." All right, let's get that off so you don't look at it. <laughs> he's like, dum, dum, dum. like he's doing it like really fast, like, oh. like he's jerking off or something. Oh. he's just like, Cause the Why? guitar is like this way. He's like, whatever. I don't know. I don't know what band it was, but. They all suck. Everything, every band on SNL does suck. Or any of those late night shows. They don't. Mm. They're always really shitty. Every once in a while they have like a good, a decent band. <coughs> I think like boring. one time back in like 09 they had Green Day on there. Alright, so. Did they ever had Metallica on there? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember it. I never seen it. That's for sure. You know, um. Oh, you going to go on? Yeah. You going to change the subject? No, I'm going to keep going on with SNL. Oh, okay. Um, it was so funny, like, because, like, the entire thing was based off of Charlie Sheen and shit. Like, the entire thing. Like, that's what all they talked about, the entire thing. Yeah. And then, um, like, he was talking about, like, what, like, the, uh, Two and a Half Men that he was on. And he was like, oh, yeah, he, he was on Two Girls, One Guy, and Half a Pizza Place. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know, I just thought, thought it was funny. Like, yeah, <laughs> he was, like, just rambling on. He was some, like, fucking Italian guy or some shit. Uh, oh, man, I should have got a clip of that. Yeah, I wanted, I was going to get a clip of, um, 
Miley too, but uh, I, he was worth it. But I did get this. This is this is what I'm talking about. The singing was actually pretty good. I thought anyway. Um, this is uh, her little opening song thing that she did. Uh, if I can find it, hold on. <laughs> There's a photo of me being kissed by a dude And Danny Leibowitz tried to get me nude For those of you who think that's very crude I'm sorry that I'm not perfect I never stole a necklace or got a DUI Never cheated on my wife like that golfer guy So what you can see, a little boo from the side I'm sorry that I'm not perfect Sure, I danced on a pole and people called it sinning. But at least I didn't date a porn star and tell everyone I'm winning. Make a dirty tape and pass it along. This is a text or photo. That's definitely not her. Be something else sorry, so so sorry, <laughs> so sorry, I'm really sorry that I'm not perfect. Um. Anyway, what I was saying was. Hold on. No, keep going. Keep going. There was a segment oh, where. Uh, it's supposed to be like a cruise. You know, this is on Saturday Night Live when the service is doing uh, a segment where your mother. It's a. Uh, her on a cruise and she's like the singer like she's like the entertainment but throughout the entire thing she's making fun of all the old people that are in the audience you know she just keeps making fun of old people about how they smell you know that you know the usual generic crap and um okay. and i got to thinking what if we replace the old people with black people think of what people would think of that scene if you replace the old people with black people why is it perfectly fine to make fun of the old people because they're old, but not okay to make fun of the black people because they're black? Ta-da! And scene. Everyone would hate you. Yeah. Miley Cyrus would be in, in fucking gone. She'd be cut off the fucking face of the planet. And Saturday Night Live would be in the shitter. They have to apologize. Everybody has to be like a huge press conference and shit. Everybody has to be like, oh, she, should, she should pull out a gun and fucking shoot a black guy right in the fucking uh, black man cast. She should, she should shoot that guy from Keenan and Kel. Slow down my whole segment. <laughs> yeah. She should shoot that guy from Keenan and Kel. So anyway, whatever. He's black. I just thought that was person. interesting. That it would, if it was black people, it would have been an uproar. But old people, it's fine to make fun of. But <clears throat> it's because I have big cocks. <laughs> I mean, wait, wait, because they don't what? have big cocks. Just like it's okay to. Oh, so oh, that's the standard. If you don't have a big cock, you know. Uh, yeah, that's why we always make fun of you. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's real funny. Hey, I'm not Selena Gomez. I know. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> All right, um, Georgie, we should go on Skype. You should be a fake Skype caller. No. Mm. Uh, wow. Um. The fuck else? Is uh, oh. What about this? Afterwards, <laughs> uh, Lindsay Lohan complained because during the show, Miley Cyrus does a <laughs> she does a, a thing where she acts as if she's Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, I saw it. it. Yeah. Well, well I need to explain to <laughs> hopeless viewers. Um, and Lindsay Lohan, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> you fucked her and you bitch? <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, so, whatever. Hmm. Lindsay Lohan Slop. complained. She said it wasn't right that they did that to her. As if they don't make fun of everybody else. Yeah. Are you in here? Are you in, no, I'm in high. the studio? Well, it depends. What are the limits of the studio? Here. What are the city limits of the studio? Oh. The studio limits. All right. I just, just talked to myself about it. I want to fuck your mom in the ass. I want to kill a dude tomorrow. Continuing on our Miley Cyrus 
streak. Um, I just uh, but she was streak. <laughs> Remember? Oh, Remember when we were talking about um, how uh, like we were talking about like ghosts and shit, telling you like what to do, like telling you that like something's happening in down in Wildwood, and then uh, then you said like you said oh yeah like nanny or whatever, I said uh, what if she said Miley Cyrus is running naked <laughs> on the beach? Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah, and then you went out there and she really was. You'd be like, why there is a god? There must be ghosts. You know, and then you do uh, run around naked. Do her while she's running around naked? Yeah, anyway, so let's just mm-hmm. keep talking about... Miley Cyrus! Um, because... Uh... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, her uh, dad was... Uh... Ah, motherfucker. Her dad... Uh... Is gay? They were having. A... They were going to go through with that divorce. They... It looks like he's gay, doesn't he? Can you believe they filed for a divorce, like, a couple, like, months ago now? It's been, like... I forgot what it was. I don't know what, what, it was what, in October sometime. Yeah. Because I remember watching it around Halloween. Oh, fucking October. That was forever ago that he said he was going to divorce this bitch. And um, <laughs> apparently, um, he's not. He called off the divorce just recently. And he went on, you know, The View. And he EGP said... EGP Live. He went on EGP Live. He's like, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. And he said... Take uh, me back to Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching Hannah Montana movie the other day. Yeah. I wonder if that's on Netflix. Yeah, probably. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. Alright, so they're not getting divorced anymore. That's it. That's Why right. not? No, they're gonna, they're gonna try to work things out, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Jo- Georgie, open up my finger. I open up my head. Open my, open up my head. Open up my head. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> um, boop. And wait, what else? What other stories were there? Um, oh, and Miley, uh, there was two occasions recently where... Yeah, where you fucking masturbated on my face? Where she attacked paparazzi. Wait, I never masturbated on your face. Yeah, you did. When? Uh, last night. Oh, and that, you know how hard it was count. to get that out of my hair? That doesn't count. doesn't count. <laughs> Last night doesn't count. It's just like me coming in your fucking beard. Nah, that There'd doesn't... be birds in there. Why birds? I don't know. <laughs> Fly away. All right, anyway. Rapunzel. Let's show the um, pictures first. This was the second one, actually. But uh, she just attacked this paparazzi. I don't know why. There was really no reasoning for it that I found. Nobody said there was a reasoning for it. She just attacked this guy. Shouldn't she get beat up? I mean, uh, shouldn't she get, like... Yeah, she could technically get sued, but... It wouldn't be worth Back it. Back to Tennessee. Yeah, and she could get, like, an assault thing, I guess. A battery, whatever. But she's not going to. Yeah, but is it, like, self-defense? <laughs> but what if he was, well, like, yeah, harassing her? It depends. If he was right on top of her, you know, like, calling and saying... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would be right on top of her. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, or her on top of me. <laughs> I'm gonna make a picture, just, just to just to see what it would be like. <laughs> you gotta make a picture, yeah. To see what it would be like. I'm gonna be just laying on the bed, and she's gonna be on top of me. How are you gonna you have to find a perfect picture for that? Um, yeah, just her on her knees, and <laughs> and um, what the hell was they saying? Yeah, he could have bumped into her or something like that. Or if he's like standing around, like calling her shit, saying stuff like. <laughs> Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, so whatever. Anyway, the other one is when... Uh, he masturbates? Paparazzi... Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is just an after thing. After but effect? The other uh, the video uh-huh. is actually when this paparazzi just like runs straight into her mother. <laughs> and uh, she gets really pissed. Yeah. And so, you know that movie Mars Attack? Yeah. Mars Attack. We should make a movie called Miley Attack. Okay. This is the boring part. Oh, you're not getting any of this. Just wait, just wait. Hey, Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, look, Miley's going this way. Oh, no, my mom's going that way. Okay, Miley goes this way. Oh, no, there goes the paparazzi. Oh, oh no. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck her. Like, she's really mad. <laughs> and here she comes. Don't you ever fuck my mom right in the ass. 
or I'll fuck you. Actually, we would just be still in the idea of the family guy. Forget about that. Family guy has that episode where she's actually a robot. Oh, really? Yeah, you don't remember that? No, because this video's looping over it. I guess. Stop that looping. Nah, you know. Really annoying. It's gonna be really bad. Oh, do we have a, this day in history? Yeah. All it's right. gonna be really bad for that, because it's gonna loop back. Again. No, I made it so it doesn't loop. Yeah, sure you did. Alright, hey, you wanna see it right now? No, I don't. This day in history. Yeah. Where, the, what if the History Channel sues us? I'm sure they won't. They have a this day in history thing. Yeah, I know, but everybody does. No. Only black people do. Um, what the hell are we saying? I don't know, something about... Oh, what? Family Guy. Yeah, they have one. And it's, like, really awful, though. Like, she doesn't look anything like Miley Cyrus. Like, a lot of times they try to make the celebrities look like the celebrities. The Family Guy Miley Cyrus doesn't look like her. And the voice is, like, way off. It just sounds, like, generic. It doesn't sound remotely like her. Like, you think they could have at least tried some sort of southern accent? They didn't even try it. it just... Yeah. How you doing? How you doing, motherfucker? <laughs> Why do you feel the need to do that? Go over the microphone. <laughs> Go <laughs> fuck you don't talk like this. Go uh, like, oh, fuck this. Alright. And my favorite... Did you hear something? Oh, damn it. This <laughs> fucking chair. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can do that too. It's a good workout. Yeah. <laughs> no sure. wonder why girls... That fuck... Uh, that, no wonder why horses are always so skinny. Most of them. Okay. She's like, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I know how it works. Um, it works. It feels so bad. All right, finally, just show them the picture of you masturbating. Yeah, <laughs> Matt and I had actually had one. <laughs> that would be something. I'm like, what? <laughs> how do you how did you get that? <laughs> um, yeah, we were talking about Miley getting. You know, this whole fucking segment is about her, isn't it? Yeah. It, we sh talked about her uh, getting weight, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, well, she was doing something about it really quick. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wish so. she would stay like that. Uh, see? This is from uh, just You'd a few days ago. You'd see her bra fucking sticking out like a whore. It's, it's the, she's coming back. She's coming? Back. <laughs> coming on my back? Yeah. <laughs> she's just like, can you imagine her? Like, I'm just laying, like, on the bed on my stomach, and then, like, she's just like, Acting like she's taking a shit, but she's like coming on my back. <sighs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, I like what you do it though. All right. Now, finally, the last thing about this bitch. What if I get <laughs> for a? Uh... I have a <laughs> oh, well, wait. anyway, this is just some picture. I don't know who found it, but somebody. Look at look at that. We're like all the way off to the side. Yeah, where <laughs> are we? Why are we all okay? Um, oh, fucker. This picture Back. was just uh, leaked somewhere. I don't know where, but it's it's like behind the scenes of her that last video she did. <laughs> She's laying in the. Poop over a little bit. <laughs> it's like <laughs> <laughs> that last video she did where she was in the the bed in her underwear and in the limousine. That this is backstage. She took a picture of why she took a picture of herself like that. I don't know. I don't know who she was bringing that picture to, but she did it. So um, eventually somebody found it. And finally, I think we can end with this uh, talk, because it's really unnecessary. Uh, boring, yeah, I might. What? What? Uh, I don't know. Say my name! Miley Cyrus! Alright. Starting break in Giants, Simons. Alright. Is this all the Disney Channel stuff that we have? Uh, yeah, what? Is that all the Disney Channel stuff that we have? Um, no. Oh. Uh, Way back to Tennessee. Yeah, we're done. We're done with this crap. When you see a Disney star Makes you horny Big and hard Don't you wish You could fuck them all this is Disney Corner. <sighs> enough of that. Uh, I think I've had enough of her for about three weeks. Oh, you know, next week. Uh, okay. Yes. Um, I'm... Let's do Donald Duck.
Donald Duck. <laughs> this guy the with fuck? the duck. The guy with the duck? Yeah. The guy in fucking Problem Child. Oh, Gilbert Gottfried, yeah. Yeah, the guy that has a small cock, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure he does. Oh, well, that's all right. <laughs> all right. All right, so... Dirtiest so bitch! We don't even need the news story, really. Uh, basically, it comes I down to this. Oh, <laughs> this is the, you know, this is the guy who's, he's done like a bunch of stupid fucking movies and stuff and TV shows and whatever. Um, but mm. he's voiced the stupid ass like mm. duck for about like, I don't know how long, like eight years now or <laughs> something like that. And, uh. Netflix? After, what? Why Netflix? <laughs> Affleck. Affleck? Affleck. Affleck, okay. Um. And after the Japanese <laughs> hurricane and tsunami caused by something else. Hurricane? Hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> the hurricane that they had. Um, the earthquake. That's because of supermoon. The earthquake and the tsunami caused by Selena Gomez. Um, no, supermoon. Yeah, and it's all. So the supermoon is when Selena Gomez shows her ass and then leaves. That's what it is. That's why everyone yeah, got so upset. Uh, that's what it is, Brian, whatever. That, she was in Haiti last year, too. Oh, Wait, yeah. was it last? No, it was two years ago. Yeah, it was a lie. No. Two years ago. All right, so anyway, he, after the thing, he tweeted a whole bunch of jokes about, you know, Japan and, you know, people floating away, you know, whatever. Good. I don't have any of the jokes, but they were pretty what good. What if we get they, shut down now? They were actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, Affleck, does, Affleck actually has... Affleck's, Aff Affleck's the insurance company. The fucking bird... I don't. Yeah, I don't understand. I wasn't. I didn't get the entire bird thing. Man. You don't get the, the Affleck the bird, the fucking Affleck that thing. No. Why the hell am I saying this story then? If you don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> fucking Jesus <laughs> Christ. What a show this has been. Um. Mm -hmm. He was fired mm -hmm. from his stupid fucking. Mm -hmm. So we can't play the stupid. Talk anymore, um, and uh, turns out that they do seventy five percent of their business in Japan, and that's the reason why they fired him. Oh, so they didn't want you know the Japanese people, you know. You know. I mean, oh that segue, segue, segue to that girl, that fucking weird girl. What? <laughs> oh, the weird girl. I hope I know what you're talking about. Yeah, okay, well, let's set this up and we'll just play it. Wait, did I ever get that video? I put it in your, in the shared folder. Alright, hold on, let's try this. That anyone can come on by and take if they want. <laughs> <laughs> um, Stop on by, I'll have a few videos for you. I only have a picture. Oh, that sucks. I really need the video, that's what really blows. That's when you stream's gonna stop working. Uh, anyway, let me. Well, all right, I'll just set it up while you're going. Okay. Oh, there, we go. there it is, motherfucker. All right. So after this tsunami happened, mm -hmm. just a few days afterwards, mm -hmm. um, and the hurricane, <laughs> the hurricane, <laughs> um, there was all of a sudden there was an uproar, <laughs> boop, of um, big cake. People on this <laughs> this video, this chick, this blonde chick. With decent sized tits. Mm -hmm. um, she made a YouTube video, really lame, really awful, but she made a YouTube video about ranting about how Asians in her library are very noisy. And she's never I seen another race of people be so over the top. Like, and if, oh man, they, they annoy the shit out of me too. Uh oh, you're gonna make your own little, we're gonna make our own little, uh. uh, uh seriously, they're just like annoying now. It's how so, though? It's so annoying because they think like, they're so fucking like bland, bland, like fucking, like just plain. It's like it's like you compare them to us, and they're just like gray, just like. Well, yeah, that's just their entire culture. It's I know. Very, I uh, fucking hate that shit. Um, it's like you can't even like shoot at them without them like. They just sit there and like take it. They're just like. Oh, I got. A I got egg roll. Egg roll. Egg roll? Why, why egg roll? <laughs> I got egg roll and fought your own cookie now. Uh, so anyway, here goes her stupid rant and everybody's complaining. The problem <laughs> is, these hordes of Asian people that UCLA 
accepts into our school every single year, which is fine. But if you're going to come to UCLA, then na, 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 na. you know what they don't also teach them they, is their manners, which brings me to my next point. Hi. In America, we do not talk on our cell phones in the library. Where? Every five minutes, That's I will be, true. okay, not five minutes, say like no. 15 minutes. I'll be like deep into my studying, into my political science theories and arguments and all that stuff, getting it all down, like typing away furiously, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, when I'm about to like reach an epiphany, <laughs> over here from somewhere, oh, <laughs> ching chong ling long ting tong, oh. Exaggerated. Are you freaking kidding me? In the middle of finals. You know, it's got its library, like we're trying to study things. Uh, and then it's the same thing, oh, five minutes oh, later. Yeah. But now, what the fuck? I don't know if that was it or not, but whatever. Egg roll? She didn't say anything good after that anyway. She should have said egg roll. Like, that would have been the funniest shit in the fucking whole world. So, world. that was really oh, awful fucker. and lame. But the problem is everybody gotten, if you look on that, the actual YouTube video that that came from, a lot of people disliked it. <laughs> It was like uh, like eighty percent probably to twenty percent of people that like disliked it like, um, but doesn't help that she sucks cock. I don't think they realized that uh, it was just a joke. It was just like her being an idiot. I don't know why she thought it was funny. It really wasn't that funny. But um, the part where she goes, oh, you know, I don't know, it's kind of mildly humorous. I don't know. It's just annoying because people make jokes about Jews. I, about Japanese people and Asians and Jews and everybody else all the oh, time. Yes. Stop but making. The only reason why anime people made porn. a. But the only reason why people made a big deal about it is because this came just a few days after the stupid fucking, you know, tsunami earthquake. What if I end your stream? I wouldn't be surprising. Um, <laughs> animal, animal, suck on my animal. Well, you know, True TV. You know how they're like the king of. Fake shows, even though their name is true. TV. Oh, are you really going to get into this? Yeah. I was in the middle of talking about Will Smith. Yeah, too bad. Um, yeah, they've had like... So Will Smith was, They've had uh, like uh, 16,000 um, <laughs> fake shows. Yeah. They like... They they just keep adding more and more shows. Like every like week. Yeah. Like I every was, week there's like, oh yeah, go catch the premiere of... Uh, you know, there's one new one that's coming out. What is the new one? Oh, I don't know, but it's some stupid fucking thing. It's like all about repo companies and all that other shit. What's really annoying is that it's always the same characters in every one. There's always like like the supporting cast, but there's always the one guy who's like the big tough guy. And he's going to like put everybody in their place. He's always going to like, he, and he'll always do like the, the fake diary type of things. So he's like, yeah, we had to settle the ordeal. Or else I wasn't going to finish this fucking purchase. And it's just like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? And a hardcore pawn and shit. Yeah, yeah. That is really annoying. The guy's like some like old Italian. Looks like a fucking mobster. Looks like a fucking blackbird. And like within like 12 seconds, there's a fight on any one of those shows. Uh, it's just so not reality. That's that should be the <laughs> motto. Not reality. not reality. Don't put the actuality. Just not reality. Let's see. Um, TV shows. Oh, Big Brian, the Fortune Seller, <laughs> Operation Repo, uh, Hardcore Pawn, All Worked Up. Bait Car is like the only real show on there, other than cops and shit. Black Gold, Conspiracy Theory with Jesse Ventura, which is a real show. Disorder in the Court, Forensic Files, Full Throttle, Salon. <laughs> Salon. Oh, Salon. <laughs> yeah, that's, I think that's fucking fake, too. Uh, it Only Hurts When I Laugh. I don't know what that Lizard is. Lick Towing, that's another repo thing. Oh my god. Operation Repo, uh, Ma Miles Roadhouse, Over the Limit, Party Heat, Police POV, um, Southern Fried Stings. <sighs> that's a really bad thing. He just goes around, like, he just beats up random people. Like, that's all he does. He just pulls out a gun and beats up random people. More series. <sighs> wow. That, there's a lot of fucking fake bullshit on that channel. Full schedule for airtimes. 
bestiality porn. Oh my god, that's a, that's one of the shows. <laughs> yeah, bestiality porn. Wow, that is quite a show. But I signed her up for bestiality. Yeah, xanimalsex.com. Ooh. Yeah, it's it's really weird. <laughs> Can't imagine getting cum in the mouth from my fucking horse. donkey. Um, no, <laughs> horse, moose. Um, yeah, this girl was getting fucked by a cow. Oh yeah. Yeah, cows have small dicks. I huh. mean, <laughs> bulls. Bulls have small dicks. Yeah. This huh. guy. You know, there was a story about the penis. The nipples are bigger than the penis. There was a story about the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was a story about the... Yeah, is that weird how that... Yeah, what is that about? That's so fucking strange that the bull's dick is smaller than the, the cow's fucking tits. <laughs> the cow's tits. <laughs> anyway. There was a now story the about the penis. Have a third nipple. About the penis. The human penis. The vagina monologues. Used to have spines on it. Yeah. Like little, like prickly things. What for? I have no clue because I didn't read the article. But I wanted to look it Let up. Let me see. I want to talk about it on the show, but I really, I just never had a point where I wanted to read it. So, Asperger's. F. Ass nigger. What? Mm. <laughs> Singing do wa jitty jitty come S- on my tits. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at this fucking camera. It's, we've got shot it all over the place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're right, it is ass purgers. Burgers? Ass burgers, yeah. Yeah, he has ass burgers. I want ass burgers. Burgers. Yeah, I thought it was a TH in there. No, it is actually ass burgers. What are you doing? Who are you guys? Huh? Start talking about Lisbon. Oh, Will Smith, yeah. He was in uh, Ireland. And he decided that he was going to be an elitist douche. No. He was going on... He had an arrangement with some airport where they were going to, like, escort him right straight to his plane. And apparently before he... I don't know, I guess before they got to the plane, before they, they did the whole whatever, they... He found out that there was no first class seats open. So there wasn't like, you know, like upper class seats that he had to sit in like the economy class. You know, that most most people take, like, you know, middle class people take. And instead of taking the economy class Oh. Yeah, right, keep going. Instead of taking the economy class, he actually chartered his own private plane. So he had to buy out a private plane for ten it was ten thousand euros, so I don't know. I guess like that comes out to like twelve thousand dollars or something like that. Uh, so he actually chartered his own private plane just so he didn't have to sit in the middle class economy seats. That's stupid. I wow. kind of get it in some way, like maybe he thought people would be bothering him, but it's so over the top to go charter your own private plane just because you don't want to sit in the fucking the seat. The Fourteen thousand. One hundred and fifty-five dollars. Yeah. So he spent fifteen. You know, not that it's anything to him, but he spent fifteen grand to go get uh, his no. own plane instead of sitting in a, just sitting in the economy class. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, it's all over the place. Oh, oh no! All right, hold on, hold on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Did you see that? It's so laggy. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey. um, right. these spines made from. Oh, he now he's, he's talking about the penis spines. Uh, the, the the protein found in fingernails often lie over uh, often lie over sensory sensory receptors, and some experiments suggest removing them makes copulation copulation last Copula- longer. Copulation? I don't know. Um, it says uh, the spines or barbs are typically present in species that mate quickly. Oh, it says for humans, losing these penile spines might have prolonged intercourse and help make manu whatever relationships a more attractive monogamous yeah no oh oh yeah I guess so 
Um, Mo. Big Mo. <laughs> it, made, it, it increased the amount of Big Mo's. Uh... Uh, the, both of these traits may be related to meeting the reproductive needs of humans, which give birth to babies with large brains, requiring <laughs> partners to mate in pairs, at least long enough to care for their big-headed offspring. <laughs> Already? Um, I don't understand why longer sex would mean that you would care for the baby more. I don't understand. I don't Baby, you have like, to put more effort yeah, into more it. Yeah, more connection or something to you, like partner or whatever. Ah, uh, I guess they're not just like, bam, 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 okay. Just yeah. like, boom! <laughs> <laughs> one long one, just... <laughs> yeah, you just slide it in really slow, you're just like... <laughs> and then that's it? You just walk away. Ah, just like, see you later, bitch. And you throw <laughs> the money... You see the deer throwing the fucking cash at the ch- <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> The money makes that sound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, it's time to go to break. Yeah, let's go to break. <laughs> All right, yeah, we'll go to break. Uh, we have no other stories left, but we'll just come back with something. And, uh... <laughs> Alright, start that shit up, motherfucker. Alright, um, motherfucker! Uh, stay tuned, we'll be back. You are now listening to the Ask Gas Productions webcast. W-A-S-S. W-A-S-S. Welcome back. Yeah. As you can see, we have a new logo. Not a new one, but you know. Sexy, on. sexy, sexy. That's what I say, bitch. Well, um, that what you're listening to, uh, what we just came back from was. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Oh, yeah, there it is. Um, Alan Mickey. Yeah, that was uh, by oh, Alan Nosebleeds. Mickey. Yeah. Uh, from their self-titled album, Jew. And uh, that's distributed, I mean, well, produced and distributed by uh, Human and Human Records, who uh, has always been nice to us, let us use their uh, that song, a lot of any of their songs usually. And uh, we our opening theme, which is uh, Second Helping by Salsa Windfall and Joe Rosa, uh, we get to use that because they were uh, nice enough to let us use it. So thanks to Alan McCabe. Thanks to Joe DeRosa. Thanks to um, Head Flap. God <laughs> and um, the guy down the street. Remember the guy who gave me the drugs? That guy. Um, oh, I don't have Old Man Jenkins in here. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's all right. Um, also, uh, there was a cop that. Uh, no, no, okay. So anyway, but thanks to you to those guys. Uh, if you want more information on Human and Human Records, go to humanandhumanrecords.com. Simple enough. Join Mofaka. Okay. Uh, <laughs> da, 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 da. Do the potty dance. <laughs> say my name. Say my name. GTA. Uh, Apparently, GTA Five is supposed to be uh, in uh, like the San Andreas area, that area. Again. GTA Five. Yeah. Oh. Oh, and I apparently in Driver San Francisco, you can't get out of your car. Yeah, I know. That's fucking stupid. I know. That's why they have that stupid teleporting thing. So you don't have to fucking. It's fucking annoying. I don't. I just. I don't see the point in it. Yeah. That they're just so afraid. They don't want to compete with GTA. I think that's it. They want to be like be their own game. Yeah. But um, unfortunately, I don't care. I don't really like any games except GTA. That's really all I like. I just like the idea that you get free roam. I don't really like games. I just. I like how I can just go fuck around. Yeah. Body mode. Um, what? Board? Nothing. Boardy mode? Party mode. 
Oh, yeah. I'm going to party mode. How the hell did you like Vice City more than any other GTA? No, no, I just like, liked it. There's I, not that much stuff in it, though. But I liked it when I, when I came out. I was like, this is great shit. When I played it, I was like, man, this is awesome. But the new games, I just never... Maybe that's because you're like, weren't the same age. Eh, maybe, but all I know is I... Actually, you're just... only two years older. Came in 2002 and San Andreas came in 04. Yeah. I didn't like San Andreas. Just, well, I, I guess became... maybe it was because they thought like, because they always they said, "Oh yeah, everything was gonna be great. The car sounds were gonna be like amazing." And yeah, it was the exact opposite. It was like hyped up was... too much. Maybe I don't know. I don't know what it is. All I know is that when I played Vice City, it was like this was great, and I already played the original, so it wasn't like it was some new great new thing. So I already played the original. I knew all about it. And when I played Vice City, I was like, "Man, this is really awesome." But for some reason, when I play. In San Andreas, I just, I never got the same feeling. I was never like, oh, this is great, this is real fun. What if it wasn't in the real area, the, that area, same area or something? Uh, yeah, it, the whole game, I don't think it has not the area was actually really nice. If, if you could get Vice City type of, uh, the look and the feel and stuff like that, and the cars and the sounds and all that, if you get all that into, you know, obviously not the Miami thing, you know what I mean, if you get all that kind of, the way Vice City was, if you could get that into San Andreas, that would have been an awesome game. There's just something about San Andreas. The way the guy moves, the way the cars move, the way the cars sound, the way the cars look, the... I don't know, the way the light looks is all fucked up. Oh, yeah, that fucking weird, like, sunset thing. Yeah, Where you sunset, can't see where you're going. Even during the day, it was awful, but the sunset was really bad. You can't see anything at all. And it was one of those things. There is yeah, it was a much... Vice City was, like, a much, like, brighter game. Yeah, everything because, was real bright. Probably because it was in Miami. It was like one of those like. Yeah. It just I even know. Las the Las Vegas area of San Andreas wasn't as bright as like the yeah, Miami like that really avenue dull. that goes down like. Yeah. Yeah. So, so there you go. I don't know. So that's really all. I'm just saying. I just. Uh, there's there's no was... there's no reason for uh, for them to close off the bridges and shit. Like in Vice City, there was a reason. Yeah, they just tried to start making shit up. <laughs> That's when it got ridiculous. Like, like dude, in San Andreas, it, it, there wasn't like anything. There was really no reason why that happened. But and then in GTA Four, it was because of terrorists. They didn't want anyone, any of the terrorists. Kind of like you know, if we got stuck in New York City or something. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Um, I still like San Andreas. Either way, That's still they're still my favorite games. They're like you know, it's like. Vice City, uh, GTA 4, I haven't played it a lot, but that is a really good game. It's probably like Vice City, GTA 4, the original San Andreas, and it's like probably my top four favorite games. <laughs> you know, so it's like, it's not like I'm saying they're really bad, but it's uh, just, you know, San Andreas is done compared to the Vice City. So what about Saints Row? Oh, Saint, the original Saints Row was pretty good, too. That's, that's up there, too. What about, Sa what happened with Saints Row? The sound just left. Yeah. yeah. What happened to Saints Row 2? Like, what, what was so bad about it? Oh, everything. It was really goofy. Everything was really goofy. It was like over the top. And um, the cars were, were awful. The steering the cars, is really bad. Car, yeah, the steering was so bad that I couldn't even get into it. I could not get into driving. That was the thing with GTA. Is that the cars always feel realistic. Except for San Andreas. It was a little iffy. Um, but a little iffy. Da, 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 da. And, uh, whatever. So, that's what I think about it. Saints Row 3. Has this shit ever come out? It's supposed to come out, um, this year. Oh. Yeah, it's officially announced. Well, it wasn't exactly the best kept secret, but Saints Row 3 is uh, now official. Um, uh, THQ and whatever today announced the upcoming release of Saints Row the third. Oh, so it's, it's just the third. <laughs> um, the highly anticipated next installment in the multi-million unit selling Saints Row franchise. Saints Row, the third. What? I hit the camera. Again. Puts you on, t on the top of the world right at the beginning at, of the game with all the perks that go along with being the head of an elite criminal or organization. Um... There's no delivering pizza, no shuttling family members about in a long series of taxi missions. Mm, that's good. 
Uh, instead, you take all the power of the Third Street Saints and you take the world by storm. The first details of Saint Row the Third will be revealed will be reveal revealed in the exclusive cover story in games in Game Informer's April issue, shipping to subscribers in early March 2011. Mm-hmm. So I wonder if that's out. Yeah, it's probably out already to subscribers at least. But the the gra- they said the graphics are supposed to match GTA 4. But uh, who knows? Yeah. Let's I don't know. Technically, they could, but they might look. Everything might look be modeled like shit. Like Saints Row Two didn't look like shit, but um, the models of everything was really off. Everything was really like bland and kind of like uh, blocky. That's what it was. Um, hold on. Let's see. Uh, game. Performer. Game Informer sucks. <laughs> the coming is. Oh, you know what? I really hated about Saints Row 2 is that it was like a redo. Like it was basically the same game, and it had all the like it had all the same gangs basically. They were just like different names and different colors. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. After two games set in the fictional city of Stillwater, the team behind Saints Row was ready to shake things up a bit. We sat down with the two art directors behind Saints Row the Third to talk about the process of designing a city from scratch. Look at that. Um, what the? And how the new location kickstarted the art team's imagination. Uh, check out the video to discover why Steelport will be a city to remember. What the? Look at that thing. What is with that the bottom picture there? What? Look at these buildings. <laughs> yeah. It's look- ridiculous. Okay. <clears throat> what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. Bam bam bam. Designing your mother's asshole for the breach. <laughs> <laughs> For the breach. <laughs> You've just breached my anus. <laughs> what are you good for? Absolutely nothing. Alright, now getting back to GTA 4, 5 for me. Yeah. Um, the last thing that I saw was July 27th, 2010. And that was a report. A, a report. <laughs> a report? A report. A report. A report. A report on VG. 247 today suggested that Grand Theft Auto 5 will be set in Los Angeles or Los Santos as it was known in GTA San Andreas. Yeah. Then in November 24th, 2010, Mike Hickey, the games industry analysis who predicted a pre-E3 2010 GTA 5 announcement now believes that the next GTA game is unlikely to arrive before 2012. There's no way. It's going to come out. Oh. Oh, the end of 2012. Boop, boop. All, right. All right, let's uh. End dog game session. Saints Row. Game session. San Andreas. Da 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 da. San Andreas. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, let's end this fucking thing. Um. Let's go to uh. Yeah, the ice cream. Apparently, there is some. I don't know where it is. You have to find out. No, I should have. I should have made a picture of a boob in an ice cream cone. Yeah, you should have. We're going to have to save the story. Yeah. That'd be funny. Um, but, uh... It'd be funny if you masturbated. I don't know where it was. I don't, I don't know if it was in the United States or not. But, uh... Basically, this guy mm-hmm. decided that he was going to make a breast milk ice cream. And he named it Baby Gaga. Which only makes it that much more feels... I fucked your mom in the ass. Generation... Um, why a generation? Okay. Some tone, 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 generation. Oh, yeah, you never sent it to me. That was the 404 not found one. Um. There it goes! Anyway, whatever. Click here to see other Grand Theft Auto Done. sites we operate. All right, yeah. Yeah, so this guy, let's see who he was. Uh, he's in London. Oh, fuck it. Um, his name is Matt O'Connor. He launched Baby Gaga, a flavor made with human breast milk, uh, saying that he was hoping to start a conversation. He owned, uh, he came from a family of Irish dairy farmers. Nigger farmers? 
and he kept he he wondered why we kept sexualizing generation women's breasts, but we made it like they were ice cream cow's breasts. <laughs> no, <laughs> we made it seem like cow's breasts were like you know they were for food, but women's breasts are like just all sex, right? So um, this guy's an idiot. So he decided he's like, all right, let me make some fucking breast milk ice cream. Human breast milk ice cream. And uh, that's it. So he made it. And now we... Gross. I guess you have to go to London to get it. I don't know. I guess, I guess it's just in his well, restaurant. I wonder if it's really, right. if it tastes any different. Yeah, I don't know. It probably tastes good. <laughs> Maybe. But the bigger problem here is his name is... Uh, he named that it... Those, those girls' nipples are going to be sore? They're going to be sore. He just gets them from one girl. And he's just like, how much milk can this poor woman make? But, you know, and then he's trying you, you out the thing. You have the to baby. get her pregnant for yeah, her to milk. Yeah, no, he's trying out for the baby. Poor baby can't get any. Yeah, but you have to be pregnant to, for a girl to start milking. I know. And the poor baby's not getting any because he's sucking it all out. Too Maybe they're aborting the babies. Maybe they're breast milking the babies. No, that wouldn't make any sense. So, anyway, the bigger problem is he named his ice cream <laughs> Baby Gaga. Baby Douchebag. No. Lady Gaga? Yeah, and the problem is the hypocrite cunt that is Lady Gaga decided that she's going to sue him. So now she's... She's not going to win that. She's she? going to sue this motherfucker, this poor guy who named his fucking thing Baby Gaga. And for some reason, she thinks that, you know, everything has to do with... Uh, Masturbating? Her character. It's funny because this is the same bitch that always talks about freedom. I'm off the screen. Freedom. She talks about freedom and like, you know, she's kind of like... Yeah. Everybody deserves the right to express themselves, <laughs> and they, you know, it's all about expressing yourself. Well, this guy's also expressing his fucking thing that he made, and this bitch is suing him for it because it slightly resembles. It has one part of her name, of her fucking name, in the it rhymes with her name too. Title. It's just so fucking stupid. Anyway, so um, more reason to hate Lady Gaga. Mm. All the dicks are coming down now. <laughs> wow. Um, I right. wanna fuck all them bitches now. Uh, since we never did history of the day. Yeah, no, so we're gonna finish. We're gonna finish with that. Uh, I think maybe I don't know if we should finish with that every time, or we should do it right before the break every time. Let's finish with it. All right. Finish, motherfucker. All right. So, is there anything else we want to talk about? Um, um, we showed that Miley attacked the paparazzi. The Will Smith, Miley Cyrus with that huge uh, thing. Wow. Oh, the only, the only other thing I wanted to say was um, that UCLA girl, the one that was the the Asians and shit like that. What Asians? Um, the one that we're talking about, library. Oh, uh, she actually, she was so ridiculed. That she, oh yeah, that she, she had to left. drop out of college. Yeah, she fucking had to drop out of college. She actually got like death threats, and shit, and her family was being threatened so much so that she actually had to drop out of school. Also, she could make that. She was just having a stupid little fun with a stupid video, just making fun of the same people that been made fun of a million times, even on TV and movies and everything. But since she made it. And somebody picked it up, and just around that stupid uh, earthquake, tsunami, hurricane, uh, then she, now she can't even fucking go to school without being shit on. So who are the real savages? The, the fucking girl who's making the joke about the thing, she's making like you know, a little joke, she did, maybe she really does hate Asians, maybe she doesn't, I don't fucking know. But the point is, nobody knows. Nobody knows if she really hates Asians or not. She was just doing a stupid video, she joked. So is she evil, or is the people who are fucking threatening her, telling her that she's a piece of shit, threatening her family members and stuff like that, or are they the savages? Which one's worse? I just wanna fuck your mom now. Oh, my shit. All right. <laughs> there was one that I, I pressed it twice, so there was an echo there. <laughs> uh, all right. So, um, 
Go down to our final moments. Suck on my big head. you opening that up? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's do this. All right. Well, fuck it. What is this? <laughs> gonna do, um... Well, fuck us? Our so we have the douche? Latest segment. We like to call it this day. We replaced it with... What are you talking about? <laughs> we replaced it. We replaced... Our hot girl guy of the week with this new segment. Yeah. Called you the, will be missed. This day in history. The name of our new segment. What if it was just... The hot the girl and guy of the history. Right? <laughs> girl and guy of history. All right. All right. Well, this day in history, on March 19th, 1876, in Blomalod, India. <laughs> blow, my, blow my lord? Sh- Indiana, actually. Shiloh Horvitz, a Jewish man, came across a penny on the sidewalk and didn't pick it up. That was this day in history. <laughs> There's no, I guess it just refuses to go a second time. <laughs> All right, so that was about it. Um, you uh, you need to do our uh, things. Reminders? Yeah. All right, well, uh, we forgot to do them during, right before the break. Uh, I, wanted to, I wanted to do them twice, but whatever. All right, well, you can catch our sketch comedy videos on youtube.com slash Shaskast Productions and dailymotion.com slash Shaskast Productions. Uh, you go uh, like us, like our page on facebook.com slash Shaskast Productions or follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash Shaskast Prods. Uh, we, put, uh, we have podcasts on iTunes. Um, you could get those on our website at uh, askgasproductions.wordpress.com. Uh, if you have a feed reader, go to askgasfeeds.feedburner.com slash askgasproductions for our videos and feeds.feedburner.com slash live for our uh, podcast. Yeah, and, this, um, this show. And uh, you can also get our past webcasts on YouTube now. Yes. On our YouTube channel. Yes, the podcast for this, uh, basically whatever podcast we put on iTunes, it's that same version on YouTube. It makes it a lot easier for... Uh, Us to masturbate. For, uh, yeah. Us to masturbate. A masturbate, yeah. Masturbate! It's always, uh, me doing that face always reminds me of Pants Brother. Pants <laughs> oh, <my best> Brother's <laughs> always like this? <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, Matt's brother, the one that I was. Has the upside down ankle. I was in school with. <laughs> yeah. The Jets jersey. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, he does always come. Remember that girl that I said that had the really big tits? Like she's only like sixteen, and she has like really big tits. Yeah. He got the hooker. He got the hooker. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> hugger. Oh. Yeah, yeah it was nice. It was nice, but you weren't part of it. We I know, it sucks. Like, I know, I was just yeah. like, uh, unibrows. Yeah, the only bad part, she has like a unibrow. But anyway. So she just say, like, shave that bitch. <laughs> shave that bitch, just motherfucker. Just harassing her. You know all women are just going to fall what, into it. What if she had a unibrow <laughs> on her, like across her nipples? <laughs> <laughs> like just over the nipples? Or <laughs> what if she had a nippo brow? A nippo brow. Nippo brow. <laughs> Nipple brow. <laughs> like, it was just like, like the nipple just extended over all, all the way over here. That'd be gross. <laughs> <laughs> or what if her boob was just one thing? One big tit? <laughs> yeah, alright, so, but, before we go. <sighs> it's been a while, we haven't mentioned it, but, um, we had a Our... uh, star, one of the stars of AGP. Yes. It's sad that we didn't bring it up earlier, but as um a sense of like this. Brian likes to sing R and B <laughs> tunes <laughs> about how sad boom, he is. Boom, boom, sh- boom. The fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> and then a club that's electronic music, electronic music. <laughs> so um, this is this is a little tribute to uh, um our old star Charwar. Now, are we gonna leave? Yeah, we're gonna. We'll just. We're not even gonna come back to us. No, we won't come back. And we'll just go to this. We'll just play this. It's good that you see this, and then we'll. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. And then we will go to our credits, and we'll, you know, then that's it. So we'll just say goodbye. 
right now is this ending. The, this is the first death of, of the AGP, AGP cast. <laughs> yeah, hopefully one of uh, the rest of the cast survives through the rest of the. Um, <laughs> and then you see a bright flash for the another twenty years at least. All right. So anyway, uh, Charwar will be missed, and see you guys later. See ya. Uh, let's go masturbate on your face. Oh, yeah.